welcome to this week's episode of Touching Corners. So I filmed a video with Albert and this is the video that is coming to you today. So I asked Albert several questions and these are the questions that he answered and I am also going to respond to and, um, and I hope you enjoy. Hey Albert! Hey, what's up? Hi! Don't be so uptight, I'm gonna loosen up a little bit. <laughs> That's what the line is called. What are we you talking about today? We are going to be talking about life, love, and the pursuit of happiness after 25. My name is Albert, and I met Stephanie through work. And we've been friends now for close to 10 years. And it's been ex extremely adventurous and exciting experience. We've had so <laughs> many fun times uh, going to the Clevelander and the palace and ending up a twist at the end of the night. Uh, we've had some really good times. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of good times to be had. Things aren't slowing down, they're speeding up. You just had a wonderful birthday, right? Yes, the big four is zero. The big four is zero. Yeah. That's a big deal, right? So do you feel old at 40? Right now I do. But Why? I know intellectually, like, most people are living till 90 plus. I know it's like halfway mark, okay, but, like but I guess it's a so social uh, number that people give, and I mean, I've been feeling it a little bit, but uh, I think if you stay active, you stay healthy, eat well, stay fit, exercise, I think it keeps you young. Yeah, and keep young people around you so you know what's going on. <laughs> I want to know every single new app, every single new technology that's out there because I will not be the last person that finds out about this stuff. I can't be. That's like one thing I do have a... a Where's one moment where you realized you're like, oh no, I'm getting old? I really haven't. It's just so... <laughs> you know, I mean, my birthday, I turned 40 and I was like, okay, yeah, this is July. I was like, okay, I'm old. Officially, like, this is the notch, this is the number, this is it. But, uh, aside from like occasional aches and pains and... Um, you know, some gray hair. I really don't feel that old. What, as you've gotten older, has taken you by surprise? Like, oh no, this is this is new and interesting. Kind of something that you didn't expect when you got older. <laughs> well, that's that's a question. Like, I mean, like, there's a border. Like, I just went from one point to another. Like, I'm older. I'm like, suddenly forty. It's uh, it's so gradual. You don't know. It, like, nothing really takes you by surprise because it just is like a gradual development of understanding of your space, of your interaction with people, and you know, your experiences through the previous years. Really, like nothing on your body's like, okay, this didn't used to hurt and now it does, or well, yeah, but it's I not a surprise. never felt this, what do you mean it's not a surprise, explain. Well, like my knee intermittently hurts throughout my 20s, 30s, but now, yeah, I notice it more, yes. Would you like to like have back today that you had when you were younger. Oh wow, the energy. Wow, the energy, because I had so much more energy back then. I could just go and go and go, work all day long, go out all night long, and that I miss. Because now I feel a little bit more tired. You know, I'm noticing that it's a little bit more, my muscles and tendons and ligaments, they're a little bit more dry, but maybe that's because we drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle my liquor better than I used to. But you know, it's not necessarily, nothing's really a surprise per se. Well, don't you just have it all figured out? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Knowing that you can get through stressful times through just stepping away, taking a few deep breaths, and uh, knowing how important family and friends are, you know, just like the real elements of life that uh, keep you together. I mean, it's not just party, 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 it's like, you know, there are other parts to it that are very important. Good answer. So more <laughs> things that are important. Would you say that you are more financially happier, happy now than you were? Oh, we're you? never not financially happy. <laughs> you always got bigger and better things to get. You know, but I've actually contemplated like what it'd be like to just like step away from all of it. You know, step away from the, the high paying job and just going to, you know, a, you know, like a job that may not pay you as well but will give you that self-satisfaction that maybe uh, you miss from being younger or like, you know, uh, when you're more idealistic. Well, personally, you know, I love being in the outdoors, being a ranger, being uh, something like that. Goals for the future. Um, stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to less grudges. You know, that's a big one that weighs not only me, but I think most people, I think, I mean, maybe it's, you know, 
too much to uh, anticipate or like to predict what lie. I think a lot of people hold on to grudges. And if we can learn to forgive and to move on and to let go of those weights, I think that we would all probably be a lot better. Not as individuals, but as like a nation or as people. And what would you say you were looking for in your future mate? I would want, I would hope for somebody that is um, as aware of their presence in the world. That communication is a big, important component of any relationship. That seems so cliche, but really, communication is everything. And you have to know how to you know, come up with those words that express how you're feeling, um, even in the most dire of times. And as drunk as you may be, or as uh, passionate as you may be about something you believe in, that you can come up with the words to express how you feel without really causing you know, a breakdown. Obviously, the sexual attraction and, the, and all that other stuff is important. Oh, I love the idea of children. I really do. I think that it's a legacy that you know you pass on your, you know, a lot of your traits, a lot of your beliefs. You educate your young ones. You have the opportunity to develop new life and new uh, understanding of life. That's great. Do so you see yourself as a father one day? No. <laughs> Why is that? No, I mean, I'm 40 You just said old. amazing things about children. Why kids, uh, People have kids in their 80s. I'm 40. I'll take care of other people's kids. Would you like to go back and be 25 again? No, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean, life has happened. And, and uh, you know, these are you know questions that really, I mean, like, can I go back to 25? I mean, and of course, nobody can go back to 25, so I don't even think about it. But. I mean, what I know now compared to what I knew at 25, I wish, yeah, I could have, you know, somehow sent my younger self that information and lived differently. I would have tried to not see the world as so concrete. You know, sometimes our expectations, our beliefs of how life should be kind of change as you get older. I wish I would have known a little bit more that you can uh, be more fluid with that, but still keeping your, your moral compass in a certain direction. Yeah, you do have to have fun. You do have to enjoy yourself, but you can't just use that as your direction. You can't just, it's not all about having fun. You just have to have a balance, really. A balance of everything. Having fun and, you know, being serious about some things. Thank you for taking the time to be interviewed today. I really appreciate putting up with the bright light. Well, it's my pleasure, and I wish all your viewers well. Aww. Thank you all for watching another episode of Touching Corners. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon.